Welcome to Kid Care Basics 20 Minute Webinar. I'm going to be your trainer today. I'm Lori Johnson, and welcome. Uh, we're going to be looking at the basics of Kid Care today. It's just a 20 minute webinar. So we're going to jump right in. I've already logged in to app.kidcare.com. If you don't have a login or a password, contact your food program sponsor and they'll get you all set up. When you log in, um, it brings you directly to the My Kids screen. So that's what I have showing on the uh, screen now. And uh, you may have children already enrolled, so you'll see those there. If you don't, you're just going to go ahead and add your children. Um, over on the right-hand side, you're going to go to Add Child. And you're going to go ahead and fill in this information. Um, everything with the little red star asterisk means that it's required information. Uh, once you get done filling in the information, you're just going to hit the next button and it'll bring you to the next screen. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't go to next. You're just going to go ahead and check up, up above for any red borders. Uh, that means that there's some missing information. Once you have your children enrolled, they'll come in as pending. Uh, this means that you'll need to send a signed enrollment form uh, to your food program sponsor um, to activate the child. Doesn't mean you can't um, record meals in attendance because as soon as you enroll a child, they're available to do so. So um, you're just going to want to make sure to send in that um, enrollment form. Once you're done filling out the information, there is a button at the bottom of the screen that says print um, and enroll, and you're able to print one after each child, or you can come to the child um, in the information screen, so that it'll come up automatically when you um, enroll a child, or you can do it later by just tapping on the child. And here you're able to print off an enrollment form by the enrollment date link or the enrollment form link. Um, it'll bring it up and you'll want to go ahead and open that up and have the parent or guardian sign that form. Then you're going to go ahead and make a copy for yourself because um, you need one for your child care files. Um, there is a little toolbar that comes up and there's a printer icon over on the right side. Um, to get back to the My Kids screen, you're going to go to Home, My Kids. So the next thing we're going to look at is how to do check-in and check-out. Um, this is sometimes required by your food program sponsor, sometimes not. Uh, so it's totally optional if it's not required. I'm just going to go in the menu bar on the left-hand side to check in and check out. This is the exact time that children are arriving at childcare and they're leaving. Uh, so you can just tap if you have a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer. Um, you can just tap on them, just tap them in. Um, if you're using a sign-in sheet, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open it up. And you can either type in the time or use the little clock, whatever's easier for you. Once you have an out time, that plus appears, so you can um, put in more in and outs. This may be for a school-age child that comes in and goes to school, then comes back at 3 or so, and then leaves at 5.30. So you can do it manually by opening up um, with a little arrow. You can also tap children out. So um, if you have, again, a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer nearby, you can just tap them out. So and it does it exactly at the time it is. So again, this is uh, totally optional unless your food program sponsor requires it. Okay. Now to the important things, how to uh, record meals, attendance, and meal counts. So if we go over again in the left-hand side under meals, 
we're able to click enter meal and it'll bring us right to the screen um, to enter our meals. It always defaults to today's date. Um, you may have an option if your sponsor has not locked you out of it um, to go back. So if you've had it on paper, maybe you wanted to start claiming on care right away, but it's you know not the first of the month, um, you can go back and put in the information. You can just click on the day on the calendar. You need to choose whether it's infants or non-infants, and then the meal you're going to record. So I have a scheduled menu, um, so my foods have pre-populated for me, but uh, it may be that if you're brand new to Kid Care, um, there will be no foods in here as far as pre-populated. Um, but to get to the foods, all you need to do is click on the little arrow, and you can start typing a name of a food, or you can pick from the list. A nice feature here is that you can create a My Menu. So My Menu is a provider created menu that is uh, able to be saved for future use. So if you just click on Create a My Menu, um, the little uh, box opens where you just need to name the menu. So I'm going to name it Bagel. And then you can go ahead and record the children in attendance. So you'll get a little check-in. If you haven't used the check-in and check-out feature, you'll need to check the children in. Um, this is just attendance. So it's just, um, was the child present that day? It doesn't do in and out times. And it also records the meal count. So it's just one click and it records the meal counts. So you can just tap on the children to say who was in attendance and who was served the meal. And so we have a couple of school-age children here, and it's AM snack. So how do I let my sponsor know that these children are out of school today? Maybe it's spring break or fall break, summer break, um, an in-service day. All I need to do is go to the end of the child bar where the three lines are and click there and just say no school. So this lets my food program sponsor know that there is no school today. There is a save at the top or at the bottom, so whatever's easier. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and save that meal. And it tells me up at the top, five total meals are saved. So five children were at um, my AM snack. Um, infants are a little bit different. Um, if we go up to the top, we're able to click on infants, and then we just select the infant. And if we haven't checked them in, it's just one time per day at the first meal or snack, we're gonna check them in. That records their attendance and their meal counts. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and select um, the formula or breast milk. That. And then um, Mia is eight months old, so maybe she had some developmental foods. So we can just do the little slider here and we can go ahead and put in the foods that she had. And again, you can just start typing to get to the food that you need. And again, there's a save at the top or the bottom. And so it says I have one total meal saved. Right, so that's Mia Cooper. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is how to submit your claim to your food program sponsor. Okay. Um, so we've recorded all our meals in attendance for the entire month. Okay. And now we're ready to go ahead and send that off. Um, if we go again over in the menu bar under food program, send to sponsor. And so here we have um, a summary of what we have claimed. So we can check this over, make sure that everything looks good. Then we're going to go ahead and click the I agree to the terms and conditions. 
and then we're just going to go ahead and send it. So it's pretty much paperless. Um, I, if I have uh, children that I enrolled um, in Kid Care, I'll need to send those um, signed um, enrollment forms to my food program sponsor. Uh, but uh, otherwise, it's pretty much paperless unless we have doctor notes or something like that that we need to send in. All the information goes to my food program sponsor. So all my attendance, meal counts, um, my menus, everything goes um, straight to them. So there's no filing, no making copies, because all of the information stores in the software for three years plus the current. So it's um, a really great thing. Um, so it says sent to sponsor um, the day and the time that it was sent and then I'm good to go. If you need help with Kid Care, um, you can go in the menu bar down here in the Get Help section. Right, this is where we have all of the information for Kid Care. Um, there's not a manual, so this is the place that you need to go. And it is the Kid Care Knowledge Base. There's lots of um, great help articles in here. There's webinars, there's recorded videos, recorded webinars. Um, possibly the first place you'd want to go is um, over on the left hand, I mean the right hand side where it says getting started. Um, so there's an introduction to kid care. Um, there's all kinds of information in here. Okay, there's a recorded webinar on getting started. It's a little bit longer webinar than this one. It has all the extra features um, that you can do in Kid Care. Up at the top is the search bar. You can put a keyword in here. So I'm going to put icon and I can find out the information of how to add an icon to my mobile device or my computer. Um, so it looks like an app even though it's a website, which makes it a lot easier to get logged in. Um, if you have an issue or um, technical difficulties with Kid Care and you've contacted your sponsor um, and they direct you to us, then um, you just go up here to submit a ticket and one of our customer service agents will help you with um, any uh, difficulties that you may be having. You put as much detail as possible in the ticket so that we can help you as soon as possible. And to get to the My Kids screen, it's under Home My Kids. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining in today and have a great day.